What's up guys, it's Chris here from Toge Tuning. We're out here at Mantis Racing in Oakville, Ontario to do some dyno testing on the uh, A90 Supra. We are going to do some back-to-back -back runs of stock and then we'll flash it with the Stage 1 uh, boot mode uh, 93 octane map. Uh, we're curious to see what the numbers are. We've seen a few results on different dynos, but we'd like to know uh, on the dyno system that we generally do our cars, which would be the Dynapack dyno system. Uh, we know previously on uh, another Dynapack that it did 344 and 402. Um, so we'll see what our baseline numbers are on this uh, Dynapack system and stage one I'm thinking it's gonna make 400 wheel horsepower and 450 torque but we'll see how she goes We then flashed the map over to the boot mode 93 octane map which only takes a few minutes to do and then ran the car again. Alright guys, we just finished dynoing the car. Uh, the numbers are surprising. Um, it made a little bit less uh, baseline numbers compared to when we dynoed it before. So it made 337 wheel horsepower and around 388 pound-feet of torque. Uh, so a little bit less than uh, the 334 or 344 and 402 that we made before. Stage 193, it made. 389 wheel horsepower and 448 pound-feet of torque. That's a monster gain with just a stage one reflash. Blue mode has always, you know, produced really good numbers just with a stage one reflash. So um, now we're cu I'm curious. We have a downpipe. We need to throw it on, and then we need to redyno it and see what kind of numbers it makes with the with the restriction removed from the uh, from the exhaust. I've been driving around on this map for a couple weeks now and it is totally different compared to the stock car. Um, if you have an A90 Supra, I would not hesitate to flash it. Warranty is overrated. Enjoy the car, it's meant to be fun. Peace.